My advice for future students would just be to start very early and um, so that you're not that afraid before the exam so that you're a little bit more chill. For the exam day, yeah, definitely get an early night's sleep um, because I think I remember last time the first exam started at like 8am or something, it was very early so make sure you get an early night um, and just yeah don't worry too much about it, um, I think the more you stress out then you might not perform as well. For students who um, want to um, do the entrance exam next year, um, don't be worried because as long as you have the, the information Intex provide you with, um, just revise them properly, study them properly and you should be 100% fine because the test is much easier than um, you expect, trust me, and um, it's, it's uh, nothing compared to what you're going to do afterwards, what you're going to study afterwards. So uh, just uh, focus on, on the informations, um, study them well and you should be fine. Don't stress too much. Of course you will stress, I know this feeling, but um, don't, don't, like, don't stress too much. Yeah. For people who are worried about the entrance exam, I would say to them, don't worry too much because uh, it's uh, just when you enter the room and see the questions, everything will be easy from that point. So I would say just uh, do your time, do your effort in studying them, the material, and you'll be fine. I'd say what I found difficult was just the English aspect, because English, it's all, you don't have a direct answer for English, so you have to be really sure to like know your stuff and know what phrases and what words to use. When I submitted the exam, I felt quite confident. Um, the English section was quite new, so I would say the English is the one thing you may worry about a little. I worried about it a little. I know my friends worried about it. So that's the one thing that, um, but again, that comes down to your comprehension skills. You just have to do the practice that Interhex has given you. And uh, yeah, and just use your comprehension skills and you should be, you should be fine, yeah. When I opened the test, uh, I knew everything. But you do have to recheck everything. You do have to make sure you've bubbled in the right thing. If you wanted to bubble A, you've done that. You just have to keep everything organized in your head. And the uh, biggest advice right, that I would give kid, uh, like the students, that you have to do it. Uh, section by section you shouldn't jump all over the place so you should start off with whatever like bio and then do chem and finish off with English so that's what I did I think it's better to finish off with English because then uh, the bio and chem that's in your head you won't forget it you'll just get it out of the way right away um, and yeah but it's not a good idea to do a little bit of bio and then jump to chem and then start reading the English comprehension passage no you're, you're gonna get too stressed out you should just do it one section each like one time. I was done with my exam in 10 minutes. Okay, in 10 minutes and within 10 minutes, I basically, 10 minutes I was done with everything. And within those 15 more minutes, I just went through everything again, checked over myself, you know. Honestly, you have two hours. I mean, make the most, of, most out of it. Don't rush through it, you know, what's the point? You know, if you have that time, use the time. So even though I was done like, 10 minutes roughly, maybe like maximum 15, like give or take. But then I sat down, you know, I'm like, I'm gonna go through it again, see if I missed out anything. And that, you know, is really something you should do, regardless if it's just an entrance exam or any exam for that matter, go over your, so go over, make sure you didn't make any mistakes, I guess. Honestly, entrance exam was just really, it was really, you know, easy in that for me. And it should be easy for everyone as long as they do the right studying, you know, go through the things that that, that's given to us by the InterX team. So going through the materials that are provided, so the InterX portal, the different resources that they have. I advise using the study materials daily and not stressing out because the test isn't as bad as it seems and uh, working hard will like, get you far. To prepare, I used all of Intex's resources. I studied daily and 
the quality and quantity um, of the resources given were like um, strong, so I, I was very confident uh, going into the exam. I prepared a lot with the samples that we got from uh, Interhex. They were pretty good. We had this uh, platform where we could practice and there were a lot of explanations and so it was super easy. I would say like not too easy but uh, I always felt comfortable and I also prepared with reading on the internet but mostly with the samples. For future applicants, just use the resources given by Interhex, it's very useful and I highly recommend using it. If you're scared about the exam, um, I would tell you not to worry too much because I know I was scared when I was in that position. What you need to do is study the platform, the platform questions that Interhex is giving you and that's more than enough. You should know what you're doing if you do that and the exam should be no problem. Don't be nervous at all and make sure you use the revision material provided to you by Interex. Use the online platform for revision that they give you, the online website, and just make sure you do it at least 10 times each subject and make sure you go through it thoroughly and you should be fine. You'll be more than fine. <laughs>